I was asleep on the cold ground. It felt hard as rocks. There were sticks, dead leaves, and branches everywhere. There were trees all around, and I was in a small dark clearing in a dry creek bed. I woke up to water dripping on me, and it was pitch black. My shelter had holes in it. I was camping in the hills above Rancho Nicasio, with no one to rely on but myself and the other boys with me on this trip. Last summer, I went on a camping trip, which I thought was going to be a normal trip. When I was told by the trip organizer how I should pack, I was really surprised. Instead of having a sleeping bag, a tent, and some meals, I could only take some simple gear, like an emergency blanket, a small first aid kit, and a knife. I could also take one or two more small items and five energy bars for seven days. This trip was to teach us how to survive on our own in case we got lost. There was no one allowed to help me pack for this trip and tell me where I should put things. I needed to still have more room in case I found anything to help me. I had to do it all by myself. There was no one to tell me what other supplies I might need, so I had to think about that myself too. All the supplies had to fit in my pockets. The whole group was thinking the same thing though. We are all alone out here, and all we have is each other. There are no parents, so we have to guide ourselves. The trip was only going to be seven days, but we had to make a shelter from natural materials in the environment and make it rainproof. We hiked in and started to cut branches and bark. We also collected dead branches with a lot of leaves. It took everybody a while to find the things they needed for their shelters. Eventually, though, I had completed my shelter, and it seemed pretty good. At night, though, some people started to see gaps in the rainproofing. My shelter was leaking too, and I couldn't go out to gather more branches because it was pitch black. I had to go to a big tree that was nearby. We had built a big shelter there earlier. All the boys had helped after they finished their personal shelters. It had been made big in case any of the shelters leaked and we needed a place to sleep. When I got to the tree in the shelter in the middle of the night, half the group was already there. The shelter was completely rainproof so I could find the sleep, even though it was only for a few hours. On the second night, we went on an orienteering course. We all had directions and a buddy, and the goal was to see who would reach the end first. We had to work together to navigate and find the next clue to our destination. When everyone finally arrived at the end, we all felt satisfied and proud of ourselves. We then had one more group task. We had to find a big bag of helpful supplies. We took about two hours hiking around and reading clues until we finally came to the right spot, and then we had to search the trees. When we got there, we found a big bag of supplies and food. I then realized that if I were surviving for real, I would not have had all that food and all those supplies. Then we ate. Now I was really starting to see myself as no longer a child, but a young adult ready to be independent and to be able to take care of myself. Now that the trip was over, I couldn't wait to see my family. Oh, and also to take a shower after a week of not showering.